Hi guys, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be uh, introducing VE Safe. It's a tire pressure monitoring system uh, for those of you that need uh, to know what your uh, tire pressure is at a constant rate. It displays it directly in your vehicle. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a setup with you guys today. Uh, a little bit of a background for me. I've done automotive since I was about 16 years old. I uh, went into the industry. Uh, I don't currently do that anymore, but today uh, we're going to be doing some easy setup. Uh, and uh, we have three, or actually four different uh, different types of uh, systems for you today. Um, today I'm going to be setting up this one, and I'll show you. Um, there's all different configurations, and there's even one for those of you that like to tow. There's ones for your trailers. There's ones that are going uh, going for all that. Now, the one that we're going to be setting up today looks a little like this. All of these systems uh, are use the same tire pressure monitors directly into um, into the valve stem of your tires so they all look like this they're going to sit on the outsides um, of your uh, of your valve stems on your tires um, and we're going to set it up today so again this is the one that we're going to be doing today but i'm going to show you the other systems and the different looks of them all they all work fairly similar So this one here, this one's going to be charged, okay, sit on top of your dash. It's going it to display everything in the front, as you can see right there. Now, you charge it once, uh, and then it's got solar power. That's, that's why it goes on your dash, picks it up. It gives it that extra power to last a little bit longer. But the great thing about this one is it does come with the charging cable and the cigarette lighter uh, charger for your vehicle. So it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to get some extra stuff. It comes with it. And again, it comes with the same monitoring system. Okay? All right in there. Nice, neat little box. third one for your vehicle is going to look like this. Nice, small, compact, great for someone that's just like, hey, I need some peace of mind. I need to know what my tire pressures are at. I don't have a flat. Uh, I need to know some of the um, the temperatures or whatever that's, uh, that's happening with it. Uh, so nice, small, convenient, goes into cigarette lighter and everything. Now, this next one I'm going to show you is for trailers. Uh, it's got more than just four uh, sensors that are in it because you got more of those tires. Okay? These are great for going down the highway, uh, especially if you're towing trailers. It's, it gets hot out or it's cold out or whatever. You don't you don't exactly have the space to pull over sometimes on the highway to go and check. And if you do... Uh, have that space it's very far and few between so a system like this is going to help you where you see exactly what that live uh, tire pressure is it's constantly monitoring it's live okay so with this system we have six right here that go in and the great thing about this one nice and big right there right big on your truck dash or whatever you're going to be putting on um, and this one is a little bit different because it's got different configurations for it uh, so it's got a big display that goes on top um, and you yourself can program these for individual tires so if you notice on the other ones they had little things saying like uh, RR on it. it means right rear of your vehicle. They're already preset for you. It makes it real easy for just these vehicles. Now, these ones for accessibility, you can control these ones and show exactly on the diagram on where they are. These are fantastic to know, hey, I'm getting a warning, but I have no idea what 
tired is, well, you get to set it. Okay, it all comes with the stickers to be able to put on, so that way you know. This is a little bit of the diagram that you have there. Let's zoom in here. Okay, and these are all stickers that go just on the top. Okay, nice and easy. Now, all of these systems do and are uh, have the waterproof. Okay, so you don't you don't have to really worry about it. Comes with extra O rings. Comes with everything that you need to have. It's kind of a system that's going to last you a long time, right? You're going to get this. You're not going to have to worry about it again, probably for the lifetime of the, either that vehicle or the trailer that you're going to be pulling behind, because it has these extra um, amenities that are in in the box with it, right? O rings and whatnot. I'm going to start just uh, showing you a little bit of how people can set up the system. This one? Yeah, for the motor. Absolutely. And the and then we can, uh, Absolutely. Yeah, because this one yeah. Yeah, is, uh, is more for commercial vehicles than these vehicles. So Absolutely. More for, more for sure. So I'm going to throw this up here. So we have one of these right here. We're going to go and turn this on. Sorry, I'm going to get nice and close. Okay. So as you can see, right, this is the front of the vehicle, back of the vehicle, and everything. Now, you hold set, three seconds. Okay, so this is showing me that none of them, none of them are set up straight out of the box just for you guys. Okay, now I want to see the flashing light. That's the one that I'm going to put it on. Okay, so we go through, we hit set again. And then red flash. red flash will be down here. Yeah. And I believe it's already put it in. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. So before it had all F's that were right across there, I just had to hold this close. I press set. It went directly onto this sensor. So now it's set there. Okay. Now you're going to see something cool here because I'm going to. I'm going to save it, okay? I know it's just one, but I'm going to save it. Now, it's not on a vehicle right now. So that means that it's got zero PSI behind it, has not, and nothing there. So I'm going to set it. It's giving me a warning. It's beeping at me, saying, hey, you got no pressure in this thing. There's something going on there. So that's, that's the sound, that's the tone that you're going to hear for an emergency that's going on. Uh, hit set again tells you low air pressure right there tells you how much that's there now it has factory settings that you can go through you can change it you see right now it's in bar uh, I know a lot of us we use psi pounds per square inch um, so you can change all of the, that over to psi quite easily you go through the settings it's got all different presets for it all now it has default settings for temperatures of your tires to give you warnings or psi drops um to give you warnings as well obviously it's at zero it's going to give you a warning right now so we're going to go back into this now let's say i did this wrong you know user error happens all the time this is not permanent Okay, if I need to change this wheel, change this sensor, all I need to do, press down on this. Look at that. All clear. This is a brand new one. I can put this on any other tire. Nice and easy. Okay. Um, so that's just a little bit of the features that it comes with. That's why I say uh, with this trailer one, you're going to need to read everything go through make sure that you're doing everything right they're completely um programmable okay can you also help us to show our audience that how you can set up the psi and the uh temperature parameter yeah so i believe you press on this for six, six seconds. seconds yeah yes. six seconds for set maybe it's better that you turn it off and then on maybe oh maybe yeah, yeah. On. there we are so bar right there change with the plus or minus there you are psi and then have a rating for pounds per square inch
just yeah. there. The which will be next. I press set. set. Yeah. So again, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the factor is already called the default parameter of that. Yes. And, uh, yeah. you, usually you're not going to change that yeah. too much. We kind of know that um, they know what they're doing when they when they set this kind of stuff up. It's all dependent on how how individually set you want to do, right? So we set that. Yeah, the defaults. defaults as you go by. And I believe you just set it down and do this. And that saves everything. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That sets everything up. All right. Turn the system off. So, let's set this system, not this system, but the system right here. Let's set this system up right here, okay, on this vehicle. It is the solar, uh, oh, yeah, we're not doing the solar one. Alright, so again, the best thing about these, is for, for these systems, for your car, easy, install on all of this. It's easy, as easy as six steps, okay? So what we're going to do, and I'll show you alongside, unscrew the valve, put the hex nut on, and the uh, air, uh, or the dust shield that's on it, screw the sensor in, uh, we tighten it up, okay, it does provide, that's what I like about this too, is that it does provide the wrench that comes perfectly for this. Now, we don't have any, uh, some, some, um, soapy water to be able to check. Now, if you're wanting to do this, uh, again, you just spray it with soapy water. If you see bubbles coming out of it, it's, it has a leak, so either you've cross-threaded it, meaning that you put it on wrong, meaning you just got to unscrew it, put it back on, um, and I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, and then place the dust cover over top of the sensor. So it, it's quite, quite nice to be able to see that it's as easy as six steps. So these are the dust covers here. I go in, and I'm actually going to open one of these up for you guys, just so that way you know. So we're going to take a look right here. You have the wrench, you have the hex nuts, but you also have extra O-rings that go in these. Now, these systems already have these O-rings in them, so you don't have to put these on. These are extra. That's why I say it's going to be great for the lifetime of your vehicle. Okay? So you have these right here. I know they look a little funny, but these are the things that actually open up these sensors. Okay, so we're going to take one of these. I'm going to ask you to hold that if you can. Okay, so one side, so these are, as you can see, they're individual to this. So I want to open this up, right? There's a battery that's inside. How you do that, one on one side, okay, locks in, one on the other side. Unscrew. So this is the cap that goes on top of it. But here's the system that goes inside. Okay, You have an O-ring that goes right there, meaning that it's waterproof. Right? The battery, it's just a little button battery. Now, it does tell you when that battery is low and all you have to do slip it out put a new one in okay real simple and easy now you might be saying brian well there's two different types of o-rings you're absolutely right there is two okay now i don't ever see this happening that you need to change it but if you see the little black part right in there 
that small little o-ring that's where those small o-rings go it's right on the inside of that so now i'm going to tighten this up make sure that it's waterproof i don't have to worry about anything okay and then we're going to get started with this i'll grab back that box all right Turn this down so this one right here lf left front so drivers front okay and take one of these hex bolts lots of tiny pieces but they give you all the baggies that you can use in the meantime seal that all back up take out the wrench and grab one of the dust shields so we're gonna follow over to the other side of the vehicle for the for the left front here I don't need those oh, okay. no don't need those at all I just need to be able to screw it on because right. you don't want them too tight here oh, okay, okay? Right. so as long as I have the wrench okay. so we're gonna come all the way over here so the first thing if we remember unscrew the cap okay it's gonna be an existing cap that's on there There. Turn the dust cover inside out. Okay? It's going to make your installation that much easier. If you want to come in, it's going to look something just like that. Okay? It's going to cover over, and then we're going to put our hex nut right on there. Make sure it's all the way in. Okay. Then we're going to put our sensor on. Oh. So if you can hear, yep. air's going into it. That's good. Now... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Just hold on one second. Didn't tighten that enough. Uh, not quite enough in there. Make sure it's all the way back. Uh, not for this part. You're gonna want to wrench it on afterwards. So again, all the way in until you're not hearing leaking. So, we might need the wrench. There we go. That's what we're on here. Okay. And then we're going to take that hex nut that's back there. Now it's all the way in that way. We're going to want to try to unscrew it. I know it's kind of weird, but that's going to put pressure on this. So this isn't going to go anywhere because my fingers can only get so tight on there, right? So we're going to go onto here. We're going to actually loosen it off until it's tight up against that body. Okay, now it's nice and tight. I can't get that off with my fingers. Okay, so that's nice and tight on there. And then you're gonna take this, this is why we did it inside out, this dust cover. 
If you notice, my hands are getting nice and dirty in here from the brake dust. I'm going to take this cover and put it all the way over. That way, there's nothing getting in. Okay? That's how easy it is to install. Okay? Now, do you want me to do all four and then take it for a test drive? Uh, yeah. Yeah? All right. Let's do all four. Maybe we'll just do one. Do one for now? We'll we're going to we're gonna get... So, that would be fine. Yeah. We're going to get... We're going to get sensors yeah. that are going to go off telling us all... The, all other three tires are at zero, yeah. but you're going to see that this one is yeah. fine. Yeah. So we'll is, see. Yeah, is this going to take a long time to install four of them? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to go and close this door. I'll get you to hop in the back there. Nice filming. And we're going to plug in this system together. So that's all there. So again, this is the system here. I'm going to take off the plastic there. Okay, that's the system there. Nice and easy. We're going to go toss it into the vehicle here, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll get you to go into the back so they can see it plugged in here. So, what do we do now? It's a cigarette lighter input for our power. We have one just right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, stick this one in. So it's gonna take some time to synchronize, I'm sure. here should sink up grab the box on the ground there Huh? Do we have a reading? It sure is. Okay. Okay, I wasn't wrong. That's great. So, as you can see right there, you have 32 PSI. Yeah. Okay? So, we're going to go and you want to check the accuracy uh, with us? It's, it's, I, I think this is correct reading. Sure. And we can also see the temperature. Absolutely. Uh, 28 Celsius. That's right. Yeah. That's right. What, what does a 9 mean? The nine. Yeah. Let's see.
I believe it's a pressure rating. Uh-huh. I think, um, nine is also... Oh, I see. Nine is actually... Which, which makes sense, because it, the other sensors are inside the vehicle, so it's 28, yeah. 28 and 27, depending on where they are in the vehicle. And then outside, it's it's 9 degrees Celsius. That's correct. That makes so much more sense. Right, and do you want to... And give us a rise. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just gonna kind of say one more thing too. Is the cool thing is is that it is in um, an electrical. Now it's showing 12 volts. That's perfect. That's where your car is supposed to be at. Okay. Anywhere from 12 to about I believe 12.6. So it actually gives you some more information as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, and uh, I think they also have a uh, have a uh, USB. For, for charging as well, yeah, yeah, it's got a USB support. Yeah, it's just on the on the right hand side, is it? Uh, I believe it's on the left hand side. You have a button on the right hand side there. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna hop in here. So what you're going to see here is it's kind of a cold day out today, um, but over time you're going to see that your tire pressure is actually going to go up. Now with the friction between the tire and the ground, it's going to heat up and you're going to see the heat go up just a little bit. You're going to see it go up maybe one degree, okay? Um, I don't expect it to go up that much. Now for PSI pressure, you're going to see it can go up anywhere between 1 PSI to 5 PSI. Now, all of this information is actually, which I was really impressed about, is all in the information in the kit. So you don't have to worry, hey, why is my tire pressure going up? That doesn't make any sense when I'm driving. Well, friction comes in, you know, when we have hotter air, it expands, making more PSI, okay? So we're gonna head out here. And you were saying that it's only, in the, you, have, you have to drive about 20 kilometers an hour? So 20 kilometers an hour, it will allow us to have accurate readings. Oh. So what it's wanting us to do is, okay, we're sitting, we're not doing anything. You don't have rotational, centrifugal force on your tires so what they want us to do is take the information that we're seeing here that it varies quite a bit right but what they want us to know is that we want to go at least 20 kilometers an hour to be able to understand okay that's what's called our true air pressure when you're moving right so that's the best part about how it's going to be instantaneous it has So let's get out of a school zone so we can go above the the 20 kilometers here. Yeah, now I can see the pressure goes up from 31 to 32. 32, exactly, right? So now that's your true tire pressure, it's perfect. Uh, now you know where it's supposed to be at, what it's doing, and that's 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 where you want it at, right? Now, as you start driving, you're gonna see it's gonna have different warnings. Yeah. Um, it's gonna warn you either your tire pressure is too high, or your tire pressure is too low. So, say you filled up your air in your tire in the winter. All right, nice cold air. Now you've been running it for a really long time, same air, haven't had any leaks, don't have to worry about it, mm -hmm. right? Now it's summer, seasons change. 
it's gotten way hotter. Or you go on a road trip and it's in really hot. You go down to, you know, Arizona or some place that's nice and hot. Now your tire pressure is above what it's supposed to. Now that's going to that's gonna tell you because if it's too high, you're not going to get enough tire uh, contact on the road because it's going to bellow out, okay? And you and it's also going to wear out your tires improperly as well. Yeah. Yeah. And it's staying at that 32. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's go back to this one. Still holding strong, went over 60 kilometers an hour. It's still there. <laughs> yeah. We've we properly installed it. So now the voltage goes to 149. So I'm guessing because of your engine is using the battery, it's okay. using everything so your voltage will go down to your accessories this is what's considered an accessory oh, so when your vehicle is parked that's when you're going to want to take your voltage re readings if you're really worried about your um your battery uh -huh. now this does not replace a battery tester you can go and get your battery tested by a professional and that's what you want to do but if you're concerned that your you know your car is starting improperly um, you know, it's kind of a little rough, then you want to be able to uh, kind of see, hey, is, is, I wonder if my battery is the problem. If it's underneath that 12 volts, I would very much recommend for you to go to a professional mm -hmm. and get them to test your battery because, it, you know, this is just testing your voltage. Uh -huh. It's just a little indication. Right. Okay. So, so if we go... For this, we have... Uh the tire pressure reading, yep. the tire temperature reading, and we have the battery voltage reading as well. That's right. Okay, right. That's brilliant. So now if you look here, uh -huh. your voltage will start to come down uh -huh. because it's got a high, it's higher. Uh -huh. So see? Uh -huh. But we're not an accessory. Uh -huh. So it's going to come down as long as it's over 12, uh -huh. you're good. Because we're using up battery right now. The car is not started. It's not started. So the alternator is not charging that battery up to its full potential. But that should stop before it gets down to 12. Okay. 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 So, and that's why I say, as you start to drive, it's going to get more voltage or, uh, or it may say less. It's dependent on the vehicle mm -hmm. because some vehicles will cut off the voltage to accessories to be able to use that electricity for the function of the vehicle right right yeah okay now i can also see the psi goes up to 33 yep so we drove a bit and if you notice the temperature went up one as well went from oh. seven to eight as well wow that's good. okay wow well, it's very i think it's very intelligent oh yeah it's yeah. it's fantastic to see the technology actually working in your vehicle mm -hmm. um because you never know what's going to end up happening. You have it's got multiple different applications uh -huh. for you to use, um, but uh, it's all dependent on on you, the user, what you want to do. If you're towing a trailer, uh -huh. if you're driving down, if you want a little bit of a peace of mind for your kids that are starting to drive, yeah, and they need to give you some certain information, it's perfect. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, like this car, I know that it got a reading of tire pressure, but you were telling me that no car nowadays have actually the tire temperature reading. Is that right? Not, that I, not that I've ever seen this temperature. Uh -huh. um, so it's really nice to be able to see the temperature because if you're seeing the PSI go up, uh -huh. but you're also seeing the tire uh, the tire uh, uh, temperature go up, you know why it's going up right yeah. because hot air expands uh -huh. as we know right and um and uh, for the battery actually when you were in, in 
you we when you were talking, I just noticed that um, is there any car that also have a battery reading? I've I've never seen that. Right. I've actually never seen a battery reading and what it's going to, what it's using up, how it goes up in voltage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fantastic to be able to see. It's just another peace of mind yeah. for you while you're driving. I can say uh, this is something that I would be taking with me. Mm -hmm. I'm going on long drives. I'm going to take it with me. That's why I don't have to pull over on the highway where it's unsafe. Uh, you know, if all of a sudden I get a uh, low pressure warning, I get to see what that pressure is at because I don't want that to go to zero because that means I have no PSI in it and I can't drive anymore, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be running on the rims. It's going to destroy that tire. Now, if it's holding pressure, that means I have a little bit of time to be able to drive to get to somewhere that can help me with the, those tires. That way I'm not on the highway. But now if I, if all of a sudden I see a zero rating, I'm not gonna destroy my tire. I'm gonna pull over, I'm gonna get that spare out, and I'm gonna put it on. Yeah. But again, it's all about safety. I don't want to pull onto the side of the road. I'm sure all of you don't wanna pull on the side of a road or especially a highway. People are whizzing by. If I have the knowledge, hey, I'm not gonna destroy my tire, Yes, it's a low PSI. That means I need to go and diagnose the problem or get someone that can diagnose the problem for me and get there safely. We're going to do that instead. That's great. Yeah. And I also noticed actually, especially in North America, I mean, uh, America and Canada, we expect harsh weather all the time. And in the meantime, um, um, you know, people like to drive in long distance, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So this little thing actually, I think is 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 a must have for every vehicle. What do you think? Absolutely. I think everyone should be able to have this in their vehicle. It's a peace of mind. It's a it's that extra safety. If you are one of those people that has the sa the the safety bag in the back. You know, it, it making sure that you're you're safe. You need to add this to that kit. Yeah. You need to have this in your vehicle. Use it every day. Yeah. Have that peace of mind. Yeah. Uh, you may not look at it every day, and that's okay because, as we've seen, it has tones. Uh -huh. You're gonna be like, "Hey, what what is that sound?" And then realize, "Crap, yeah. I got." I, I have something wrong with my tires. I yeah. didn't even think about that, but it's already just plugged in. Right, yeah. We got an audience say all new cars come with this by law, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, we are driving, I think we're driving the Porsche. Yeah. And um, is, 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 well, it's not the latest version, but it's quite new as well. Uh, but as, as, as we just said just now, that we only got PSI reading, we don't have the high temperature reading, and we don't have the battery reading as well. So uh, this little thing, if we could just show you very quickly again, actually come with three readings. One is a PSI high pressure reading, another one is the, is the, um, the temperature reading, and then the battery reading as well. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And if you are going by the Motor Vehicle Act as well, uh -huh. for these tire pressure settings, uh -huh. they need a system in it. Yeah. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. But whether or not that system gives you this information. Now, I've seen a couple of vehicles, you know, you have the lower end budget vehicles that just tell you, hey, it's low. Yeah. It doesn't tell you the PSI. It doesn't tell you the information that this system is. Yeah. And not only that, is these systems that you're using. Now, there's two different types of systems. Mm -hmm. There's called a band system that goes inside on your rim. And then there's ones that go onto your actual uh, valve stem on the inside. They're very expensive. Very, very expensive. And they break. A lot. Mm -hmm. Say if you have a if you have a flat tire, if you have that band system or there's something that's happened, it went and blew, you would be riding on that system. Yeah. And it can break very easily. Now with these systems, I believe they're more affordable than the manufacturer systems that they come with it. You can imagine, I mean it's Yeah, can you just uh, hold the box? Because uh, we have all inside that 
they want to know what uh, this uh, no, one here. Yeah, they want to. They want to. They, they they're asking what it is called. And yeah, VE Safe. VE Safe is a high pressure monitoring system. So um, yeah. Sorry, I just didn't no, absolutely no. It's all good. We we just want to make sure that we're you know, and not all people are going to be driving new vehicles as well. Exactly. I drive an older vehicle because I enjoy the older style of vehicles. But do I want this peace of mind? Absolutely, especially if my wife is driving my vehicle. I want to make sure that she's safe. Exactly. Right, and this allows you to have that option. Of being safe, right? Yeah. So that's great. And uh, before we um, finish our, our our live stream today, I remember last time you were saying that uh, for truck companies, yeah. every morning the first thing is you uh, the drivers need to check tire pressure. Yeah. So there's a pre. So it's a called a pre-trip inspection that they need to be able to use. Now this system can go on um, these vehicles because you know there's there's a there's a hundred different things that they they're checking. But if you can take off um, just that little bit amount of time, you know time is always money in these those types of industries. You put it in, it's giving you a live feed. You know that you're good. Yeah. That that's uh, that your tire pressures are fine. Now with these systems here, because you may be saying, "Well, tire pressures are yeah. so this one here." Uh -huh. You might uh, you might be saying, "Well, those tire pressures are humongous. Can you? Is it going to be able to read that high with this system here? It can, okay? Um, because I know that with those commercial vehicles, the it goes to, from a hundred psi to one hundred and ten. PSI depending on the tire and this system can handle that and understand it and you will be able to program this to understand where that tire is as well because at the same time you may not see that it's low because you have what's called dual tires yeah. right if it's the back one you're not seeing it it's it's on the same axle you're not seeing it bend down you're not noticing it right so if you can save that time for those tire pressures every morning on your pre-trip inspection, mm -hmm. that's money that's more in your pocket, especially if you're owning your own truck. Yeah, and um, this I think V save comes with uh, four, um, six, eight, ten uh, uh, tire uh, pressure sensors. Yes. And if you want to add more sensors to it, you can also get more sensors if you drive a really big vehicle. Absolutely. So I think yeah, it's it's just as Brian said just now, it's um is is it's really something that will keep you safe and keep your family safe, especially when you drive outside and take your family out for a, for camping or drive a long distance. I think this is something that I, I, I definitely gonna keep in my car. And, uh, what did absolutely, you think, <laughs> absolutely. I'm gonna get my hands on on one today and put it in because my system does have that uh, that uh, its own tire pressure monitoring system. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's not that good. All right. It's this one's much better, All right. much better. Yeah, because the, the car you're driving is actually an Audi. Right? Yes, yeah, exactly. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's a nice Audi, but if that Audi only tells me if I have low. Air pressure, mm -hmm. and actually, it doesn't tell me if it's too high. Oh, cool! This one does. Yeah. So. Really. Yeah. Right. Thank you very much, Brian. Absolutely. Yeah. Anytime. Yeah. Cheers, and thank you very everyone, and we will see you in our next live streaming. Thanks, Brian. Thanks. Bye. So, cheers. Perfect. Yeah.